Hi dear friends, it's me Harish Pukodam. Welcome back to new episode of Explore Yourself. Let us see what are the things we are going to discuss on today's video. The topic is ratio and proportions, basics and shortcuts. We can expect one or two questions from this area for all competitive examinations. Here ratio means the relationship between two variables. The, the question will be in this format. They will give value of A and value of B and they will ask to find out the ratio between A and B. These are the, these are the type of question they will ask basically from the ratio and proportions. So we can assume A is equal to 40 and B is equal to 20. So A is to B is equal to 40 is to 20. We can divide that with 20 then it will be 2 is to 1 that means a is to b is equal to 2 is to 1 in other format a is to b is equal to a by b that means 40 by 20 so we if you are dividing that we will get 2 by 1 that means 2 is to 1 this is the basic thing if we will multiply with same number on both sides of figures it will never make any changes on the ratio so here you can see we are multiplying with 10 in both sides that means 2 into 10 is to 1 into 10 and so we be 20 is to 10 if you are dividing that with 10 the proportion our ratio will be 2 is to 1 it seems that there is nothing changing on the value or ratio that means x1 into a is to x1 into b is the same if you are multiplying with the same number on both sides will never make any changes on the ratio another thing is that if you are dividing with the same number on both sides in this case also we can't we can't get any changes on the ratio ratio will be remaining the same here we are dividing by 10 that means we are taking 2 is to 1 is the number or figures we are dividing with 10 that means 2 by 10 is to 1 by 10 if you are removing the 10 and all the things otherwise we are making the division and all we can see that the ratio will be 2 is to 1 is remaining always that means 2 by x1 is to 1 by x1 these concepts will be helpful for solving the problems so remember these concepts another type of thing is a is to b is equal to c is to d in this case b and c means that is means b and c is means and a and d is extremes these are the two variables a is to b is equal to c is to d in this case b and c is means and a and d is extremes sometimes they will ask ratio between means in other cases they will ask ratio between the extremes also that means a by b is equal to c by d that is that means a into d is equal to b into c this concept is also very helpful for solving the problems related with ratios so we can move to the problem number one problem is if a is to b is equal to 2 is to 3 and b is to c is equal to 3 is to 4 find out the ratio between a b and c that means a is to b is to c so in this question we got some things that is a is to b is equal to 2 is to 3 already given and b is to c is equal to 3 is to 4 that also given we need to find out a is to b is to c this is the very easiest method i will tell you how to find out the solution for this problem first of all we need to write the things given in the problem i mean the figures or data given in the problem that is a is to b is equal to 2 is to 3 and b is to c is equal to 3 is to 4 we need to find out a is to b is to c so 
there is a figure for that. So I will show you how the figure is there. So you can see this arrow mark. In this ways, the multipl multiplication is going on. If you are multiplying on that way, definitely you will get the answer. You can see we are multiplying 3 into 2, that is A into B is to 3 into 3, that is B into B is to 4 into 3, that is B into C. So on that time, we will get the answer 6 is to 9 is to 12. We can divide all the figures with 3. Now we get the answer 2 is to 3 is to 4. That is A is to B is to C is equal to 2 is to 3 is to 4. That is the answer. So remember this mark again. So this is very helpful to you to find out this type of questions, answer for this type of questions. So this is the only solution or trick to find out this type of questions. Then the problem number two, if x is to y is equal to 3 is to 4 and y is to z is equal to 8 is to 9, find out x is to z. First, we need to write down the things already given in the question. They are given x is to y is equal to 3 is to 4 and they also given y is to z is equal to 8 is to 9. And in this case, first of all, we need to find out x is to y is to z. We were discussed this matter in previous question. I mean the problem number one. The same technique we are using here also. The same formula and the same arrow marks. We are multiplying on the same way. So in that case, x is to y is to z is going on this way. I mean 3 into 8 is to 8 into 4 is to 4 into 9. That means 24 is to 32 is to 36. We can divide these all figures with 4. Then we will get 8 is to, sorry, 6 is to 8 is to 9. We will get answer as 6 is to 8 is to 9. In this, we can clearly say that x is 6, y is 8 and z is 9. So they are asking x is to z x is to z is equal to 6 is to 9 6 is to 9 we can divide both sides with 3 then the answer will be 2 is to 3 i'm already told you if you are dividing or multiplying with same number on both sides never make any changes on ratio so that rule we are applying here then we will get the answer 2 is to 3 then we are going to problem number three problem if a is to b is equal to two is to three and c b is to c is equal to four is to five and c is to d is equal to six is to seven find out a is to b is to c is to d we need to do a few more things on this question here you can see they are already given a is to b is equal to 2 is to 3 and b is to c is equal to 4 is to 5 and c is to d is equal to 6 is to 7 and they are asking about a is to b is to c is to d we done two questions in three digits way the similar technique we can use here also so first of all we need to write down what are the things we they were given on question that is a is to b is equal to 2 is to 3 and b is to c is equal to 4 is to 5 and c is to d is equal to 7 is 6 is to 7 so here also one more arrow marks things are there the arrow mark trick is there so i will show you the trick how they are doing they are asking about a is to b is to c is to d so this is the trick we are need to do I'll show you the trick how the things is going on. You can see here, this is the arrow mark. In this way, the things are going on. So now we will get A is to B is, B is to C is to D is equal to A B C is to B B C is to B C C is to B C D. That is the formula. Otherwise, you can you can buy hard this formula. That is A is to B is to C is to D is equal to 
ABC is to BBC is to BCC is to BCD. That is the formula. That means here 2 into 4 into 6 is to 3 into 4 into 6 is to 3 into 5 into 6 is to 3 into 5 into 7. If you are multiplying these all figures, we will get answer like this. 48 is to 72 is to 90 is to 105. We can divide all the figures with 3. Then the answer is on this way. That is 16 is to 24 is to 30 is to 35. So the question we need to find out A is to B is to C is to D. The answer is 16 is to 24 is to 30 is to 35 is the answer. So this is if you are seeing this type of questions, sometimes you will confusing how how I can solve this question is very difficult one. This is not a difficult one. This is the easiest one. If you are getting this type of tricks, we can we can find out the solution very easily within few seconds. We can find out the solution and we will get the full mark also. So the answer is 16 is to 24 is to 30 is to 35. So now we can uh, look for with the problem number four. It is an, another type of problem is not like the previous problem the calculations and all the problems are also different the problem is like this divide 600 in the ratio of 2 is to 3 in most of the question papers of every competitive examination you can see this type of questions divide 600 in ratio of 2 is to 3 so we are taking 2x plus 3x that means 2 is to 3 that means 2x is to 3x here already in question they are told that we need to divide the figure 600 in the ratio of 2 is to 3 so we can write that thing things on figures if you are writing on figures we can see that it will be in this format 2x plus 3x is equal to 600 that means 5x is equal to 600 then x is equal to 600 by 5 so we will get x is 120 if we are getting x very easy to find out the other things also that means 2x is equal to 2 into 120 that is 240 3x is equal to 3 into 120 that is 360 so the answer is 240 is to 360 we can add these two figures now that we will get 600 so the answer is correct if you are getting this type of things you can make the division also means um, we can make the uh, make adding of these two figures and we can judge whether it is the same as the questions in question they were asked we need to divide 600 into the ratio of 2 is to 3 so if you are dividing in this way i mean 240 is to 360 in that figures we can see that that the ratio will be in 2 is to 3 the answer is 240 and 360 so these are the four problems we are discussing in the area of ratio proportions and we will yeah, i'm already give some basic notes about ratio and proportions and some shortcuts also so you need to do few more questions by changing the figures and numbers i'm already given four questions in that four questions you can change the numbers and figures and you can make more question, questions and you can work out on that questions and you need to find out the solution very easily you know the time time is also an important fact for competitive examinations Okay, thank you. Hi dear friends, I thought this information is useful for all the people who are going to write the competitive examination. Please share this information among your friends and relatives. If you want to get the videos like this video, please subscribe our YouTube channel Explore Yourself with Harish Pukodan. I wish you all the very best for each and every person. It's me Harish Pukodan.